Welcome back, Master Chef students. Today uh, we are looking at food waste. Um, so food waste is our topic for the week, and we're looking at how to make meals and ensuring that we don't have a lot of wastage at the end. So I'm going to show you three really simple recipes um, today, and I've only got with me about seven or eight ingredients. And I make three meals, and I'm going to do it all with this head of cauliflower. I'll see you in a second. All right, so as you can see, we have the ingredients in front of us and I've got seven ingredients. So, I've got some green olives, I've got anchovies, garlic, parsley, red onions, some parmesan cheese, a small little bag of um, leftover pasta, and some flour. And so those things combined are gonna make three really interesting different dishes um, and they're all gonna be using with our main ingredient, which is gonna be cauliflower. So I'm trying to ensure that we don't have any wastage left over because a lot of times we buy cauliflower and we'll use a little bit and we'll leave some sitting in the, in the fridge and you know. So this allows us to use all of it. So all trimmings and all parts of the cauliflower we use at once. All right, so I'm going to show you the first recipe um, and I'm going to show you sort of little bits of it. I'm not going to go in detail with all of them, but all the recipes will be available um, on Classroom and you'll be able to have a look at those as we go. So let's start with the first one, all right? Now, I've already cut mine up, but when you've got a head of cauliflower, we're gonna cut all of it. So the only thing we're gonna remove are these excess um, leaves on the outside. They're the only things that we get rid of. The rest we keep, including the stems. So, you'll see here in my bowl, um, I've got everything in here and I've even included cutting down those stems into pieces because they're going to be integral for the dish that we're going to start with today. Okay, so what I'm going to do first um, before I get started is I've got a pot on the water at the back here um, and that is for uh, my blanching. So I've got two dishes that require blanched cauliflower. So I'm going to put those in now and I'm going to let them blanch away. While I'm doing that, I'm going to do my third dish and I'm going to get that started first. So this is one cauliflower um, that I've broken down that I can use for the whole thing. So um, I'm going to use, my first part is going to be with a little bit of cauliflower and I've cut it down into really small florets, little bits, um, because it's going to be easier to fry in a fry pan. And I'm going to start with a little bit of fennel seed optional. Um, I really like it. Um, just gives a really nice flavour. A little bit of garlic and some anchovies. Okay, for dish number two, we're going to make a pasta dish. So with this dish, um, we're going to fry up our, gar um, our cauliflower and we are going to do almost exactly the same as we did with dish one. Um, but instead, we are, we're going to use it with some other ingredients and put pasta through it at the end. So first off, I'm going to fry off my cauliflower again. Alright, so the big difference between this dish and the last one we made is that this cauliflower has been blanched first. So I've cooked it until it's just soft all the way through and now I'm frying it rather than frying it from raw because we're, we're having it a little bit more mushier and softer so that when we add our pasta it creates a bit more of the sauce and can go through the rest of it. So I'm going to fry off this until we get a little bit of colour. Once we see some colour, I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients in as well. So I've just added some red onion and garlic, very finely sliced. Adding that in, that all going to cook very quickly. So again, that is why I've, I've already pre-cooked my cauliflower, so I don't want things to cook for too long. Okay. 
Okay, so now it's been cooking for a couple of minutes. Starting to get some really nice colorization on my cauliflower. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it up a little bit with the back of a slotted spoon. So just give it a little squeeze on the bigger bits. That way that it's not broken up too much. It's still florets, but it's just a little bit smaller so I can go through the rest of my pasta. As you can see, my cauliflower is looking pretty good. Um, nice colorization happening in here. So what we're gonna do now is just before we add our pasta, we're gonna add some green olives. Cauliflower works really, really well with those things that are sweet, sour, and salty. So um, this is for Western food. So things like currants, green olives, anchovies, really good to add with cauliflower. They really complement the flavor. So it's now time to add our pasta. Okay, in here now guys, I've got um, egg, parmesan, cauliflower that's epically soft, some parsley, the garlic, and some flour, self-raising. This is for our cauliflower fritters. So students that have worked with me in the past would have made this before in the kitchen. It's one of my favorites and it's one of my mum's um, famous dishes that she does. So what we're going to do is you put it all together, we're going to mash it all up, we're going to make it into um, a batter type consistency, and then we're going to fry them off in the uh, fry pan. So you'll join me next when we have a look at us frying these in the fry pan. So when we're testing to see if the cauliflower is ready for our cauliflower fritters, we need to make sure that it is really, really soft. So you always want to give it a little bit longer than what you think. So when you think it's ready, give it an extra couple of minutes. So if we have a look at it, it should be soft enough that with my fork, I can just squash it and it disintegrates. And that's exactly where we want it. So that when we go to put in the bowl, it's just going to completely um, be very soft and pliable in our recipe. Okay, students, so I've got all my batter here. It's made, as you can see, it needs to be thick and, and almost, um, almost doughy in a way, um, but nice and thick batter so that when we fry them in the fry pan, they um, will nicely and stay compact and close together. So I'm going to fry these and then I'll show you the finished product. So we've got a finished product here. Here's the cauliflower fritters that are done. As you can see, we're just giving them a really nice um, cook on each side. So they've got really nice color. So you just want nice and golden on both sides. You want to do it on a low medium heat just so it cooks really, um, really nicely, not too quick so you don't burn them. I've got three finished dishes right here in front of you. Um, from today, we've made all these three dishes from the humble cauliflower. So these dishes here, we have zero waste. One head of broccoli has made these three lovely dishes in front of me. Um, you know, I've got an entree here, I've got a side dish, and I've got a main. So we can feed everybody in the family for one night of dinner if you wanted to have cauliflower for all your meals to come from everyone. So I've used a whole cauliflower to make all of this and a couple of other ingredients that are really just scraps and, not, and ends that can be substituted into the meal. Um, so to make sure that we don't have any waste here in the kitchen and promote that with us. So that's um, it for this week, guys. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Um, it's been lovely to have you in the kitchen again to have a week at our food waste. And I enjoy um, it, sharing it with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in the classroom. And hope you guys are enjoying your time in lockdown. I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.